Hi, I'm Ziad Ali from St. Francis Hospital and Heart Center in New York, the Cardiovascular Research Foundation in New York, and the New York Institute of Technology. I'm here to talk about the first global multicenter randomized controlled trial comparing OCT guidance to angiography guidance for PCI, the Illumian 4 optimal PCI study. So PCI is most commonly guided by angiography globally, but angiography has a number of well-recognized limitations. We can overcome these limitations by using intravascular imaging, and OCT is a very high-resolution intravascular imaging modality. We've shown previous in Illumian 3 that OCT guidance can improve stent expansion and reduce procedural complications like malapposition and major dissection, but what we didn't know is whether those improvements in acute procedural success can actually lead to an improvement in clinical outcomes, particularly in complex patients. So we enrolled specifically patients who were high risk, defined as medication-treated diabetes, or patients with complex coronary lesions, defined as lesions that were greater than 28 millimeters of intended total stent length in one vessel or more vessels. People had a recent myocard infarction, acute coronary syndromes, severe calcification, bifurcations with two stents, a chronic total occlusion, or diffuse or multifocal instant restenosis. So we really tried to encompass this high-risk patient populations because we think those patients are the most likely to benefit from imaging, coupled with the most likely value for money for the catheter devices. The take-home messages were that OCT increases the minimal stent area, improves stent expansion, and reduces major complications, major dissection, major malapposition, major tissue protrusion, and untreated focal reference segment disease. Even angiographic corlab adjudicated complications were significantly less common in the OCT guided group. Overall, that translated to a very strong 66% reduction in stent thrombosis, which was statistically significant. That was coupled with a reduction in target vessel myocardial infarction and ischemia-driven target vessel revascularization, overall pointing towards the fact that OCT can dramatically improve safety. We did not see a difference in the two-year primary clinical endpoint of target vessel failure, and that was largely because of equipoise in ischemia-driven revascularization. We do believe that was strongly impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic when patients couldn't get to the hospital, and if they were having experiencing angina, they were more likely to manage it at home or have difficulty with resources for hospitalization. And that tends to bias findings towards the mean. ESC did an amazing job of putting together the hotline session, which incorporated four major studies. The Illumian 4 study, the October study, which showed a significant benefit of about 4% for bifurcations guided by OCT versus angio, the Octiva study, which shows that OCT and IBIS were non-inferior in terms of clinical outcomes at one year. And then very importantly, a real-time network meta-analysis pre pre presented by Dr. Stone, which showed a robust benefit in almost every clinical endpoint. A benefit in terms of target vessel failure, major adverse cardiovascular events, stent thrombosis, death, cardiac death, target lesion revascularization, MI, target vessel MI, stent thrombosis, the list goes on and on. So this robust data of almost 20,000 patients really is the nidus to move the guidelines as they should be for multiple randomized controlled trials and meta-analyses towards a 1A.